So the NBME, the National Board of the Medical Examiners, has decided to make a change to the step two passing standard that is beginning from July 1st, 2022. And today's date is April. So um, before we go into details um, about these changes, uh, let me take you back a little bit. So on January 13th um, of 2022, they made this announcement on their website that there is a scheduled review of the Step 2 CK uh, passing standard that is going on, and they had not uh, come out with the time. And then if you go down here, they said, they said if um, after their committee um, makes the determination and then they see that there is a reason to upgrade the passing standard, it, it will be effective July 1st, 2022. So uh, they did this in consultation with many, um, many um, other people. So here you will see that they said they did this with some groups of physicians and also they did some survey of various groups um, um, example are um, the licensing representatives of st different states and um, also they have the residency program directors they also have medical schools uh, faculties and then the exam examinees themselves and um, another people that they consulted was um, was um, some of the uh, medical school um, ed educators themselves also um, also they look at data, data on the trend of um, the examinees performance so they also look at so um, from 2014 they have not upgraded the score so since 2014 the score has been 209 and so they have not um, upgraded it until now and then they are looking at the trend and they realize that there is a need to um, change the passing score also they look at the score precision and its effect on the pass or fail outcome so when they did the pass or fail outcome um, pass or fail they decided that uh, um, they increased the score by by five points uh, the passing score uh, for step one and then they, after all this um, consultation they decided to also um, add that five points to the pa uh, passing score uh, from 209 so now it is 214 for um, the step two in order for one to say um, I have passed. So uh, this is it. So today is uh, April 11, 2022, and officially they have um, decided to change the score um, from from two here. You can see from two o nine to two fourteen, and this they intend to a challenge students. And over the years, they 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 have been increasing the scores like every every four years, but since twenty fourteen, and they have not increased this uh, due to certain um changes um, that have been going on, like this COVID things, and then the need for uh, doctors, and also sometimes well, like when they look at the curves, like it's not due to um, be changed. So, and um, this is the little announcement that I have for you this morning. And um, this has um, a lot of uh, goods and then the bads. Um, but um, before this, um, I was speaking with um, some residents already, and then they have got some close ties with the program directors already. And then, so from what I learned is that those who already have 209 as a passing score and have taken the exams prior to this date of July. Uh, 22 will not be affected by this changes. So if you took your exam um, be, uh, before July uh, 1st of 2022 and you did not make the 214, you are still considered as though you have uh, passed and then you'll be considered for a um, residency uh, program. So that is one thing that we should bear in mind. It will not be as uh, at a disadvantage to anyone who has already obtained the 209 before the date, um, July 20. Uh, 22 yeah so this 214 it's a challenge to students uh, current uh, exam uh, takers and so um, if you are someone who um, is aiming at just passing then you need to um, put in an extra uh, work in order to be able to pass and this information is coming from the the website itself the usmle.org um, and you can go there and check it out uh, by yourself and um, if you have any questions um, you can put it down in the comment this is the usmle booster channel and then i intend to use this channel to um, to update upgrade and also um, help students who are taking their exams 
and so that I can make certain things easier. So if you haven't subscribed, please kindly uh, subscribe to this channel and uh, put in the comment what you think about these changes. Um, this is going to affect the whole, um, to have a very mass effect on all students taking this exam and also um, on our patient population, our doctor-patient ratio. Like this is a very massive change um, because uh, we have a lot of students who will score below 214 going forward and we have a lot of students who would have passed if these changes were, were not made. So kindly uh, subscribe and leave a comment for me so that I know exactly what you think. Just let me know what you think about these changes and how it's going to impact our um, education and residency application going forward. Thank you very much for being on this channel today and um, I'll see you next time in the next video. Um, bye.